Hey guys, what's up? I'm going to show you uh, real quick how I'm wiring up a uh, a mirror, uh, rear camera, dash cam setup in my dad's JK. He's been complaining for a while that he doesn't have a backup camera in this thing. So I'm going to surprise him with a nice little setup here. So let me show you what's up. All right, so first of all, remove the factory mirror. Super easy. You got the regular little, what do they call that, a D-mount or whatever to take the mirror off of. Disconnect a couple cables, the mirror's out, right? So now I need to get my trim pieces out of the way. I've already removed a few here. This is gonna be a super easy install on the JK and I'm getting ready to show you why. So two screws remove the sun visor on the passenger side. You gotta remove those. And then you got one little plastic clip in the A pillar that you gotta undo. And that A pillar clip is, is just basically a Phillips head plastic screw, right? So this is up here, that's there. You undo that one, and then you're able to pull off the rest of the A-pillar. And then this panel right here, that's right on the right side of the, you're just gonna pry that off and pop it out, also just with clips, super easy to come out. Now, that's gonna give you easy, easy access right here. That foam right there, you poke through that foam and you're into the, uh, the engine compartment to run your wiring to power the mirror. Same deal with your header up here, your header piece, just those little little clips. So just start pulling and popping this stuff loose. Look how easy that is. All right, now we got easy access from where the mirror's gonna be, run the cable down, the A pillar, right through here, right in and through the firewall to the engine. So the mirror I'm gonna install here, you can see I've got that ready to go. This is the brand motion, full view, FVMR 8866. Um, I'm not even sure they make this one anymore, honestly. I bought this one on Amazon several months ago, 8876 actually. And this 76 is actually made for the JL, but this is gonna work just fine. Um, I did have to get a, an adapter piece here so that I can just use the windshield mount here like they have rather than the header mount that the JLs have, okay? So that's the one piece I did have to buy to make this work. Um, separate from this, and you can find these on Amazon. I'll throw some links in the description here. So anyway, that's the mirror we're working with on this install, but the concept is basically the same for all of them. So you're gonna have a power module like this this is what's gonna go up under the hood to get the power into the cab that's gonna run up the pillar and across to the mirror. And then we're gonna have a separate cable that will run from the mirror down the pillar. We'll just hide it, you know, tuck it in, run it back to the rear for the rear camera. Okay, you can see now I've got the mirror mounted. Easy. And the cable right up there where the old cable came down from the factory. And then I ran it through here. And there's the end right there that's gonna hook to the power supply once that's connected. Okay, so there's that foam I was telling you about. I just poked a clothes hanger, a wire clothes hanger through there, okay? And that clothes hanger is right there. There's the end of it. You can use a fish tape, whatever works for you but I just had a clothes hanger handy. So I'm gonna use that to pull that cable through the firewall. Okay, so we're all wired up here with the module, power module. These coming in from the engine bay and then the power module wire is of course gonna be all tucked in and run there once we get the rear camera installed. Take off the spare tire, put the bracket on the lugs Route the cable through the tire carrier in through this grommet. Pop this grommet out, drill a hole in the middle of it. It's gonna close up tight anyway. Pull that cable through that hole and then fish that cable through the inside of the tailgate to come out here. How to get there? There's a black trim piece right there that covers that. The bottom bottom has the clips okay so pry from the bottom because the top has 
those type of levers. Okay, so those are gonna go in and then that's gonna pop in. So pop the bottom out first. This will come right out. Fish your cable through there. Okay, gonna zip tie it all the way along here. And it's time to start removing plastic pieces, more trim to run this under the carpet and up to the front. Panels back in place. Can't see the wire right there. Now let's get into the interior pieces. Okay, this back corner, that, this back corner, if you want to pull everything out to make it easy, you can, I guess, but I didn't want to go to all that extra work. So I just undid the, uh, the two tie down bolts. They're here and here. Pull this panel up, give me enough space to where I could run it right through there. And it comes out there under that carpet. So then I'm going to follow under the carpet up to the front, all back in place. Can't see the cable anywhere. It's totally hidden up front of there. No trace, right? Gonna do the same deal here. Just pull out the carpet. Just untuck the carpet, run the cables. It's really easy. If you wanna take all this plastic off, you can, but there's really no need because you're gonna be able to easily tuck cable up under the plastic going all the way to the front. Now just continuing what we were doing. So, Cable ran from the back, ran all the way down and tucked it up under all of this. Carpet's all back in place, plastic's good. I didn't have to remove any of this. I just pulled the mat up, tucked it up under that plastic. Continued the same here up front. I did pop this clip loose just so I could get the wire all the way up inside of here rather than sitting out on this edge. So it is up inside of there and it runs up through that same thing just pop that loose and you can fish the wire right through runs up inside there and comes out right here okay and it's going to run right up the a pillar with the other wire to connect up there all back together and the plan is always for it to be completely hidden the only section of cable that you'll still see will be right here. And I tucked it in behind so it's completely out of the way and protected from all the all the stuff. But that is the only stretch of cable that you're going to see. The rest of it is all hidden under the plastics and the carpets. Going back to the rear camera. And there she is. Now for the test. So I know the front works because that's already powered up since I installed it. And there you go. Rear, front. That's pretty much the mode that it's gonna stay in all the time. Looks pretty damn good. Certainly see better with that than with the old uh, mirror looking out the back window around the, the spare tire and the third light and all that good stuff. So that's it guys, easy installation. I'd say uh, total work here. I had to take a couple breaks to take care of some work stuff, but I'd say total work here was probably an hour and a half maybe at most, maybe even closer to an hour. So easy install. Um, hit me in the comments if you got any questions or anything like that, and I'll share some links to uh, some of the goodies that I used. See ya.